If you remember yesterday, we were blasting ships. We were getting certain hit points for each enemy ship. We were changing it, destroying them. But what is a game if we're not actually keeping score? So that's what I did here today. If you look in the top left corner, you can see we now have a score box. And this should be keeping score when we're shooting some of these enemies, right? So let's say we blasted that one, we got a thousand points. I'm gonna show you how I did that here. And what I'll do first is I'll zoom into this hierarchy so you can see on the bottom left. We have a scoreboard empty object that we pulled in and we attached the scoreboard script to that, which I'll go into in a minute. And then what we also did is we used the UI canvas, which has our crosshair, if you remember, and we added scoreboard text. So that's that front canvas, which is just a kind of a square in front of your screen, which also shows you where that cursor is or, or crosshair is when you're shooting. Now, what did we do in the code? Some pretty simple, small changes. Here you can see the scoreboard script that we added to to that scoreboard empty. And all we did is we imported Text Mesh Pro. That's a texting component that Unity uses. It's better than their texting component. And we said, okay, I want to serialize a field called scoreboard text. This is something you can drag and drop in. Say, I want you to use this text right on my screen. And we said, okay, score is obviously going to start at zero. We want to increase that score by a certain amount each time that amount comes to us. So the score addition is going to be the score plus the amount. And that text is going to be updated in score.string. So obviously we need to change the integer to a string. And then I wanted it to default to at least five zeros. So how do, how do we get that, uh, that amount in? Well, if you go to the enemy class, what we did is say, okay, I want to have an initial score value for each enemy. Let's start it at 10. And when we come down here, we say, okay, I need to find that scoreboard. This is an interesting kind of method or class. I'm not sure what they call it in Unity called find first object by type. And it goes out through your code and tries to find that scoreboard object. Now, what we did down below is we said, okay, real simple. If we hit an enemy, it dies, go implement or update that scoreboard and increase the, the, the score value in that method by that score value that we have. Now, what we also had to do is we had to make this, this variable here in scoreboard.cs a public variable so we could then call it in that other script. So that's all we did. You can see here, I'm gonna start shooting some of these other you know balls or enemies, and I'm gonna get more points for them. Pretty simple update if I can even shoot this, right? Um, but it's super neat. Obviously, this is this is what games need, right? You need to be able to show that score. Otherwise, what is a game if you're not keeping score? Anyway, that's what I'm working on today. I'll see you tomorrow.